Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation. In this speech, I'm going to answer this question. How do group control and circuit parameters influence stability in a DC microgrid with constant power loads and constant power sources connected to it? This, this is the core content of the paper Small Signal Stability Analysis of the sea shipboard microgrid with dual controlled batteries and constant power sources. This work is the result of a long-lasting collaboration between the authors, Professor Stefano Massucco, Professor Federico Silvestro, Dr. Fabio D'Agostino and Dr. Francesco Conte, all with the University of Genova in Italy, and myself, Samuele Grillo, currently Associate Professor at Politecnico di Milano in Italy. Before going into details, let me give you a brief overview of the framework in which this work has been conceived. The growing concern on clean energy has widely interested transportation systems. This is impacting not only ground transportation means, but also marine systems. In the decades, the design criteria of vessels have been modified to give a more significant role to both the generation and the usage of electrical energy. As a matter of fact, not only has electric energy been used for feeding final users, but it has been exploited as a propulsion means too. This concept is widely known as all electric ship. This has led to the installation on board of diverse technological solutions, which had been left ashore in the past years. Given the fact that the most common configuration of all electric ships has traditionally diesel gen sets, energy storage systems have been recently introduced to increase both efficiency and performances of the shipboard power system. In addition to this, renewable energy sources have been installed to mitigate polluting emissions. In such systems, the presence of energy storage systems is also instrumental to reduce the randomness and improve efficiency and reliability of energy of renewable energy, energy sources. A further step towards more environmentally sustainable solutions is to increase the share of green power produced on board. This goal could not be attained using only renewable energy sources. More stable and reliable sources of power have been considered, such as, for example, proton exchange membrane fuel cells. They have been regarded as an adequate means as they guarantee many advantages and zero local pollutant emissions when fed by green hydrogen. The introduction of such equipment brought onboard electrical power system to the limelight and the idea of a DC microgrid is emerging as an efficient and effective solution. In this configuration, there are a few DC bus bars used to collect generated power and to distribute it to loads, which must be interfaced with power converters, making them often behave as constant power loads. In addition to this, fuel cells, due to their poor dynamic behavior, can be regarded as constant power sources. This raises the problem of which piece of equipment should regulate the DC voltage. We theoretically analyzed and numerically simulated using Dick Silent Power Factory software a DC shipboard microgrid made up of three 800 kilowatt rated proton exchange membrane fuel cells, two lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide batteries, and an equivalent load supposed to be constant, all connected to a 750 volt rated DC bus. We focused our attention on the small signal stability of the resulting nonlinear autonomous system x dot equals f of x. Thus, we performed a linearization at the equilibrium point x bar, resulting in the linearized version of the nonlinear system x hat dot equals a x hat, where a is the Jacobian of f evaluated at the equilibrium point. The microgrid system is described by the voltage and current Kirchhoff equations of this equivalent circuit. When we started with the system modeling, we initially considered the modulation indices of batteries converters as constant quantities. This first setup allowed us to catch the inherent stability characteristics of the circuit in the case of regulator failure. With this assumption, the system behaves as a second order nonlinear circuit where branch inductances and the bus bar capacitor dominate the eigenvalues analysis showing a wide area of asymptotic stability. On the other hand, the troop control action was ignored and the study appeared to be incomplete. We move forward with the inclusion of the troop characteristics, assuming regulators fast enough to consider that output voltage and reference voltage 
calculated by group controllers coincide. With this assumption, which is commonly adopted to study the interconnection of resources within a DC grid, the set of conditions ensuring the asymptotic stability appears to be unfeasible. The next step was the inclusion of the actual regulator dynamics. As a consequence, the system complexity increases. Nevertheless, stability can still be reached only for a set of conditions which are practically unfeasible. Finally, we introduced a delay in the action provided by converters by the introduction of a further state variable alpha b ref. This is useful to replicate the behavior of real components and has an essential stabilization effect. In this way, we were able to write the function f, linearize the system and perform smooth signal stability analysis. To prove the effectiveness of the proposed analysis, a detailed model of the microgrid has been implemented in the Xilin power factory. A first interesting result is that by setting the converter time constant tau to very small values, less than one microsecond, the small signal asymptotic stability condition, that is all the real parts of the eigenvalues of the matrix A, B negative, cannot be obtained with any reasonable triad of values for the DC bus capacitance C, the energy storage system group D, and the inductances L. This is in, con in contrast with the Dick Silent simulations, which within the same conditions show asymptotic stability. Differently, larger values of tau allow obtaining the stability condition, which with the reasonable values of the three parameters. This means that the delay in the converter internal dynamics has a stabilizing effect. Obviously, tau has to be small enough to suitably represent the converter internal dynamics, that is, be less than or equal to one millisecond. We perform the tuning procedure looking for the value of tau to obtain the matching between the theoretical stability conditions and the asymptotic stability of the Dixalent simulation. Since the converter internal dynamics can be only approximated, a perfect matching was impossible to be found. Thus, a tuning procedure has been carried out looking for the minimum tau such that Dixalent simulations result to be asymptotic stable when the theoretical small signal stability condition is satisfied. Such optimal value has resulted to be 0.9 millisecond. In this way, the small signal stability condition has become sufficient, but not necessary. This is verified by the fact that the red lines in the graphs here on the right hand side never go above the black lines. The two columns refer to the different operating points, different loads and consequently different set points for the fuel cell do refer to the paper for further details. We performed sensitivity analysis with respect to the three parameters L, C and B. We confirmed that the DC bus capacitor has a stabilizing effect on the system. In this figure we display the minimum real part, the maximum real part of the eigenvalues of the matrix A for each operating point and for different values of the three parameters. The lines refer to different values for L, the lighter the line the higher the inductance, the x-axis are dedicated to the change of the capacitance, the rows refer to the two operating points and the columns refer to the different values for the group. We can observe that given a fixed value for L by increasing C, the maximum real part of the eigenvalues of A moves from positive to negative values, confirming the stability effect of a larger capacitance. Moreover, we observe that the larger the inductance is L, the larger the minimum C required to get asymptotic, asymptotic stability. The same can be said about the sensitivity on the group D with an opposite effect with respect to L. The main result of this work is thus a criterion which provides the values for group DC bus capacitance and inductances sufficient to attain the stability of the system. Further work will be dedicated to investigate the global stability of the nonlinear system. This concludes my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Farewell.